Update now on the uh, breaking news we've been following for the last couple of hours from Prudence Island, a fire destroying a couple of homes on the island overnight. Kay Walsh has been tracking the story for us all morning, and she uh, is actually on the ferry right now. Just got an up-close look at the damage there. What's the latest, Kate? Patrick, we are live on the ferry, leaving Prudence Island, heading back to Bristol. And I can tell you, we just looked at the damage from this massive fire overnight. The fire was at 14 Harishoff Lane. It spread to 15 Harishoff Lane and then 830 Narragansett Avenue. There are three houses very close together, and right now they are just rubble on the ground. No sign of a house once standing there. We spoke with residents who said they, of course, as an island, are a very close community. The fire chief on the island. Island echoed that same sentiment saying this is devastating for them because they know these people. Two of the three homes were summer homes, but we just got an update from the fire chief who said there was actually an elderly woman at the home where the fire started. She was able to make it out safely and is now staying with neighbors. That's just the community they are. Neighbors helping neighbors in time of need. And the fire chief also credited the quick action from what he called the Rhode Island Task Force of neighboring communities, fire departments, as well as the Portsmouth Fire Department. He said their new boat made it to the island in five minutes, and when every second counts, that five minutes was really crucial rather than 15 minutes that their old boat would have taken to cross Narragansett Bay here where we are right now. He also said the Bristol Fire Department's new water boat was able to pump salt water from the bay and then use that through the hoses and put out the fire so that it didn't spread to other homes. Two other homes in addition to the three that were destroyed also had some damage. We saw that as well and you'll be able to hear from the residents as well as the chief later on and also on WPRI.com. But for now we're on the ferry headed back to Bristol. Live in Narragansett Bay, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.